The clock is really... What's the matter, chum? Didn't you like it? Well, that's all funny. You want a little slap-happy guy. Sleep like a babe, I suppose. <laughs> sure. Okay, so you're lucky. Okay, so I'm lucky. So what? So you're lucky, that's all. Well, why can't you sleep? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you should take a warm shower before you hit the sack, Bunce. Maybe you don't eat right. Could be the detail you're on's too tough. You know, what you need is... <clears throat> Give us a hand, huh, boy? So why don't you try it, huh, Bunce? Oh, forget it, will you? No. I've been wondering what's come over you. So since you don't get any easier to live with. So what? So you don't have to be so touchy. Come on, Bunce, be yourself. All right. So she hasn't written for a couple of weeks. Three weeks. Does that mean anything? Don't worry so much. I'd be a worry war. Look at me, I never worry. What does it get you worrying all the time? Do I worry? 
How am I going to get those leave papers signed by Saturday night? I could worry about that. Do, kind of. But not enough to stew all night. Remember that time we were moving in on Saipan? Didn't sleep a wink. Who did? Wasn't anything I could do about it. Sure, there have been times I couldn't sleep. School, night before exam. First time I ever went to the dentist. Why to please, it'll hurt you a little. Nuts. <clears throat> Things like that'll keep you awake, maybe. But you, you stay awake night after night. Don't seem to have anything on your mind. If you do, you don't tell a guy about it. You know, I... I don't get it. Well, maybe you'll really get some shut-eye tonight, huh? What do you say? get some sleep night after night I can't take it rather be dead probably will die nobody nobody can last without sleep night after night night after night after night Oh, no. You're not going to die. We know how you feel. But in all medical history, nobody's ever died from lack of sleep. Before that can happen, nature will take over and give you the rest and sleep that you need, whether you realize it or not. But you're worried. You've got something on your mind. That's what keeps you lying there, staring at the ceiling. Everybody does that once in a while. Look at Lucky right now. He's still awake. Insomnia? Well, that's only a vague medical term. Let's see what's going on in his mind. Each man's problem is more or less different. But here is one kind. Listen. Damn it to hell, what's the matter with me? I gotta get some sleep. Goes on, I'm all wound up like a top talking to that guy. Ah, uh, fine. Now I can't sleep. Wound up like a top. Yes, that's a good way to put it. And getting wound up, excitement, anticipation, minor indecisions, confusion, anything like that, is a sure way to postpone sleep. You have to unwind before you can rest. Listen to it. How am I going to get those papers put through? Oh, why'd I have to get myself in the doghouse with a chief? I wonder what's eating buns. Hell, I can't help him. It's a doc's job. Sure, see the doc. It goes on and on. And the more wound up he gets, the worse it is. That's just tension. He doesn't have to do this. Tension, that's all. But he won't get any real rest when he's all wound up like that. Let's see what he does about it. All right, they can't sleep. So why can't you sleep? Eat too much? Too much coffee? Uh-uh. Work too hard? Who, me? Nah. Uh, Enough air. Yeah. 
bitch, okay. Oh, what the hell. I wonder if I'll have a clean shirt. Borrow one. I'm trying to see the dark. Maybe I can... Ah, uh, go to sleep. Forget it. Forget the papers. Forget buns. It's night. It's a problem for the morning. It's night. Get the idea? Here's the whole business in a nutshell. At first, his thoughts had him on a merry-go-round. Then he took control and pinned down the cause. He was stewing around about you and about his leave. But once he decided what his troubles were and decided he couldn't do anything about them tonight, that was that. He began to relax and look at him now. Lucky's method won't work for you, will it? Your problem isn't quite that easy. If it were as simple as one, two, three, you wouldn't be lying awake night after night. Maybe you know what's bothering you, and maybe you don't exactly. That happens to lots of people. Sometimes they can't put their finger right on the cause, and sometimes they can, but refuse to admit it even to themselves. You know, we're all a little different. It's interesting to look around just one ward and see just how different we are. The kind of person we were to start with and how we've been brought up. They make a difference in the way we react to our problems. Maybe it's a question of marriage, money, or job. Maybe it's a question of getting along with others. And again, sometimes it's a question of getting along with ourselves or just plain lack of purpose. Maybe it's a combination. It may be purely physical, like a toothache or a recent operation. But whatever it is, there's no cure-all. Every guy's worry is a personal problem. If each one of these men had a stomach ache, would you give him the same dose of medicine? No, of course not. They're all different. You'd tell him to see the doctor and get individual attention. That's what you ought to do tomorrow. Tell the doc what's on your mind. But we can give you some help right now. What detail are you on, Bunce? Maintenance squad. Grounds? Cars and machines. Oh, mm-hmm. Responsible work. Now, think back over the jobs you did today. I spent most of the day on my back under a truck. Feeling something like a spring that's wound up too tight? Well, yeah. Kind of tied up in knots at the back of the neck. The back of the neck, elbows, the chest, yeah, it's funny. I lie there fiddling with that screwdriver, and the first thing I know, I'm trying to figure things out. I get to talking away. Not out loud, you understand. My jaws are working. And here in the ward, you go on doing the same thing, trying to work things out in your head about the way Lucky was doing a few minutes ago. Yeah. Did you ever wind a watch too tight? You have to wind it, but if you wind it too tight, the spring freezes tight and the watch stops. The right amount of tension keeps the watch, or you, ticking along in good shape. You're too tense all day long, a chow, or just walking from one building to another. You're wound up tight all the time, day and night. You don't think about it during the day because something's always going on. But at night, you keep right on generating energy with no good way to get rid of it. Result, 
you not only lie awake, but you worry about being awake. Now, see if we can't channel that energy. So even if you're awake, you get some rest. Let's start with your head and relax gradually all the way down. Well, that's easy to say, but how do you do it? Well, get this first. Relaxing is a skill, like hitting a target. It takes practice, concentration, and more practice. Go ahead, start getting comfortable right now. Eventually, relaxing becomes automatic, and you can do it without thinking. I hope you're right. Mm -hmm. To begin with, stretch out flat on the bed. Get in a position that suits you best. Ah, that's better. Straighten out. Okay. Lie quietly, but don't force yourself to hold still. If you're at the control panel, imagine you're going to switch off the current to the tight places, one knob at a time, slow and easy. Start by turning off that worried look. Ease into a smile, not a smirk. Loosen the furrows on your forehead. Now around your nose and between your eyes. Your mouth is relaxed, and already there's less tension in your shoulders, less tension in your arms, your fists. Loosen them up, one at a time. Take a good breath. Now yawn. You don't feel like yawning, fake one. Again. Next, relieve that pressure from your neck. Think of it as pulling out a row of stitches, unraveling them, one at a time. Then your back muscle, relax them too. Let the pressure off the thigh muscles. Take the knots out of the calf muscles. Relax the right leg. Left leg, then the ankles, one at a time. Your feet, your toes. Remember that sock in the Donald Duck picture? Imagine it dropped, just plop. That's how you should lie there, plopped out, limp. And now, will you sleep? Well, if you can't, the doctor will help you. But at least you'll be in condition to pass the night restfully and comfortably.